Oh, never mind. No fire. Yeah, oh wow. my god. I mean, Again? me Damn. and Gani have literally just been spamming Yab CW. <laughs> and look the at that wave clear yep. from Gord. Just a single second skill. Not even like the first skill is needed to secure a whole lane. Now Lanaya. What a threat from Keyboy. A charge from Keyboy. Let's see. Oh, good stun as well. And a Mystic Gush in the backside. With the help of Skyrim, we will secure the turtle. But Sans will be the trade. Keyboy now taking damage from Keys. Has to flick it away. Kyrie, though, will find the double in the middle. Oh, another catch from Keyboy. It seems like now Keys caught. Oh, on it. They still want more. Game versus a toy. On top of that, right now, this trio made of. It's technically been nullified. One of the strengths that Lanaya has on this box here should be that Tyrus Rage. Oh, good setup, but take a look at the backside. Sans caught with the Mystic Gush Keys. Finds out the kill. Kyrie now caught in the front side, Ooh. and he will be taken down. Damage it's when he's holding with the Primal Watt, but Boots, once again, being the spearhead of Onyx Esports. Classic 4v4. Kyrie jumps in the backside. Retribution, though, will fall to the hands of Lanaya. Kyrie taken down. Look at the sun on towards Keyboy now. Flickers away. Lanaya with the shield unity gets a stun. Boots will not be able to cover him as oh. Keyboy will not be able to escape this stun. Oh, no Going way. airborne, but no follow up damage now. It's a 4v2 bottom side. Keyboy gets taken down. Different Collision. story. Whoa. Starlium oh. Scythe. For Kyrie, that's a charge. Yeah. CW will pop the flicker. Keyboy finding one. No fall damage though. Minaya soaks in with the Bujasans. Good suppression. Keyboy will not be able to take him down just yet. As the Mystic Gush will find Linaya. And now Dixon. Onyx. They collapse as Boots will be the trade. It's a Linaya for Boots. Onyx. Ultimate. The Ixia ultimate is also gone. It's just no resources whatsoever to fight again. Sustained battle is going to be won by Devil United Esports, but Keyboy. Looking for something here. They were united. Oh, oh what? 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 With the sprint as well. Finds the quick kill. And the turret. And Kyrie will find Shaco though. It will, they will uh, feel like they're still in an okay shape. But oh, goodbye, W, Flicker, Divine Judgment connects. The damage is there from Watt. And Watt finds the pickoff. No time to cover. And it was just instant. They were united. Understand. That okay, the extra pick can work with Layla. <laughs> in lane, a lot. Interesting analogy there, but what? Oh my goodness! What? Very aggressive, good catch though, Watt. Is this a little bit too aggressive? Good cover by Boots, Watt gets taken down. Oh, the full barrage! Will not be able to find Dixon. anyone just yet. Dixon finds a stun, Keyboy gets taken down, Boots. The backside in the Primal Wrath version will not be able to deal them. The POD first, even before Crush inside, but oh. something's going on. Divine Judgment on towards Boots. Primal Wrath forced to be popped. What? Boots, oh, to the backside, Watt gets taken down by Boots. And the stun will come through towards Kyrie. The damage will not be there as a Mystic Dash will find Dixon. Dixon. It seems like no Dixon way. will not be able to find the stun though. CW gets terrified and gets taken down as well. As one, two, three, four members of Onik will be taken down. But Kyrie and Sans will be the savior of Onik this time. They were united. Yeah, but like you mentioned, Ghani, they have taken your advice. Steering clear, 3,000. Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie caught. Will be Ooh. taken down by Watt. Very oh, good. United. Once again, we're going to repeat this point with this MDL lineup. They are very, very disciplined. Keyboy gets a very good engage in, and they all in on him. Let's say Lanaya, though, no immortality. Primal Wrath pop. Oh, take a look at the damage, though. Boots will so not be able to find the sustain. CW forced to use the flicker. Oh! Keyboy finds the two man knockup and stun. One man taken down. Lanaya will be taken down oh, as well. Perfect Tyrant's Revenge and Rage onto two. Sans can. Whoa. Whoa. All in clear. Retribution will fall to the hands of Kyrie comfortably. Dixon, though, this is a raw move, I feel like. He gets taken out. Keys oh now my in God. an awkward position. Will engage. Not. Good flicker. Boots, good cancel as well. Boots will flicker away. Ooh. Keyboy, though, will be suppressed. Now, the damage has come through the backside. TW pops the full barrage. Dixon gets taken out. Oh, the re-engage. Can still play by in. Keyboy. Kyrie jumps in onto a Jacko. Force him to use the flicker. Get a chance to play with first second Lemon. Hey, Lanaya pops, face checks, damage comes through. Oh, good suppression! On towards San, he gets taken down. Good shutdown. And now it collapse. CW falls as well. Kyrie trying to put some damage. Suppression comes through as Kyrie looks for an escape with the shield unity. 
It does not come through. Shaco will secure the kill. And just Cleft. like that. Let's see. Racer taken down. 15 seconds for Sans. They need to clear. Can they? Boots soaking damage. Bramble Wrath Bob gets taken out as well. As it, this is it. Day Y United has taken out the Sky Kings in game. Yeah, Indonesia season 12 with a lot of the changes that has happened since then. But also remember, this is a cryo. It helps in a jungling area too because you have that basic attack. Extra damage, extra magic damage, and oh, oh Shaco mode. Quicker way of dragon. And Shaco will be the first oh. one to. Seems like Keyboy will move on towards what now? Well, one more value, just like you guys can get more value with Dunia Games. But they might pay for this one. Let's say Lanaya finds an angle. And it seems like Keyboy now will be the sole oh. casualty. Good destination. Will be up. Let's say Boots looking for control in that turtle. Kyrie jumps in with the electrifying beats oh. as well. Shackle though, very low in the flicker. Aggressively will find the kill. A turtle will fall oh. into the hands of Lanaya. But CW in the backside finds the double. Kyrie. Jumping in again, oh. Kai CW will fall. Keys though will be taken out as well as will be Onik. The yellow porcupines responding in game two. Even Dixon now will fall as well. It's a wiped out almost by the side of Onik. Unofficial, but yeah, a wipe out. Go, no? Yeah, I think so, especially with Keyboy and Sans. Lanaya might be going for a Hail Mary with his mortal foil. A bit too late for that. They might pay for it. Say good airborne, good knockup. Shaco will be the first one to fall. Boots claiming the kill. Good taunt as well. As now Dixon will fall next. Kyrie picks up the kill as CW finds a Lanaya. Three for bodies. are opening, but unfortunately for them, it's only Keyboy who's always overextending. They can never find CW or Sans. They're always spacing perfectly. And now Boots, Ooh. whoa. Oh, good taunt onto it still. Take a look at the damage though. Sans falls to Purify. Oh, oh, the damage will be more than enough to take one down. Shaco loses immortality and his life as Dixon. Hail Mary play in the backside does not pay off. Good way of Dragon, and it will seal Anaya's fate. As Keys will be the sole man standing, and Kyrie will <laughs> not gladly to pick up the kill just yet as Keys still survives. But Honic, man, what a response in game two. Well, they're still going for it, Ghani. They don't want to stop it. They don't want to just end. Okay, there you go. Finally, they get it done. There you oh. go. It's just a full on. Guns blazing composition for Onyx Esports. This wow. is big. Fancy feat from Keyboy, but he has to take care of a lot of damage coming in with Sans backing him up. Oh, he might Keyboy. Be having the flicker, and he got taken yeah, out. But Lunaya just hit level 5, so it will be a pure 50 50 as Boost looks for an opening. Let's see. Real worm revelation pops as well. Shaco will be the first one to fall. Keyboy at the backside. We'll try to pressure Lanaya as Lanaya finds a retreat. Keyboy will be taken out by the shadow kill. It's a, a kill for a they kill. Pressuring keys to make like the wrong mistake or like forcing them to not getting the last hit by the top side. Something's happening. Dixon. Oh, good flicker, but Dixon will not survive. Beautifully done by Onyx. Knowing again that maybe a neutral objective to pull. Oh, Keyboy winning the one view on this time against Lanaya. Oh my god, Lanaya harassed by Keyboy, but this cover will come through. But the Retribution will fall again. Keyboy gets taken down. Keys will not be able to find the kill, but it will somehow really forces Sans to help bottom side. Take a look at Keyboy as well. Looking for the angle. Let's see. Knock up on towards Sans. And he, Keyboy shows up on towards the map. No go away. Good stun as well. And Keyboy with the concussive blast will take him down. They want United. Good setup. But Kyrie, what? Oh, Gets Shaco. the turtle. Take a look at Chaco as well. Taking some heat. Empty bot side. Keyboy now. Giving pressure. Real world relation popped by both mid laners. No way. San survives as Keys now will be the juicy target as CW and Keyboy. Well, not Onik, a very dominant display. As right now, CW will look for that synergy with Boots. Whoa. Might be getting caught out here. Yeah, good setup here. Boots. Oh, good of his will try, Ooh. but the shadow kill will not land onto his roots. But now Kyrie finds a shutdown as Dixon now will pop the sprint he as well. Sandbagging, like, in front oh of my him. god. <laughs> What's this going in? Yeah, good knock up the boots will be punished. Oh. What? Will be taken out. That is a good trade for Onik. And now Day One United looking to stabilize in that mid. But it seems like it's still a win for Lania. the side of Onik. Lanaya jumps in with the shadow kill. Oh! Worldy! Basic. 55% HP left here. 
re regenerates. But it seems like the base turret passive in the top lane oh. will be triggered. Also, the base turret in the bottom lane will be triggered. Every lane. Yeah, every lane basically, right? 10,000 gold, the concealed play, real world relation popped as well. Take a look at this defense. CW caught though, he gets taken out by Watt as Kyrie will find a kill on the rescues, but the Shadow Kill will not be able to connect onto his mirror. No way. Oh. does not find the kill, but what? Nixon wasn't in range to engage. And Dewa United, that limited time offer has disappeared, and you guys don't let the limited time offer for free access to all heroes disappear. Keyboy! Oh my god, oh. it's a solo kill by Keyboy! Oh, it's all chill. It's all good. Very. can continue to utilize this map pressure. Ooh. Damn, Shaco. Well, it gets the stun oh onto with the damage wow. from CW, man. Wow! Oh, what? Calvin Winata claims oh, a kill. What? And Calvin Winata claims another. Let's say the main turret now will be the casualty as Calvin Winata almost claims the triple. But Kyrie jumps in towards the backside as they want United. Defends with three. Onik will take their time here that as Lord. Damage. That is the Berserker's Fury and also Malefic 4. Endless battle actually going in too. With the Shred coming in from Boost 2, he's going to prioritize the immortality after this. Just a single Fury Hammer is enough. But speaking of that, Dixon. The yellow porcupines looking for a shred in the base of Dewa United. They find the first casualty. Shaco, will he be next? At Keys flickers defensively. Keyboard quite low. What? But the base turret. Oh, what with the Inspire? Will force CW to find the killing spree. The base is wide open as CW claims the double, but the damage isn't what? there. Keys finds the double as well as Kyrie and Sans will claim the base of Dewa United. A wipeout to end the day and another reverse sweep. Really a good night. 14.36, Onik made it sweet and fast. Sweet and fast as we look at the emblems and uh, the itemization from both of these teams. Shaco, I mean, Key is actually going for the early Winter Truncheon, knowing that he has to respect the damage coming in from Hilda, from Boots, from CW. It's just way too much damage to deal with. Hence, that Winter Truncheon very, very early. Dixon has the Dominance Eyes, has the Blade Armor to counter out the damage from CW, but it doesn't matter as CW is like 5k gold ahead of him in that team fight. In that, like, when Boots shred that physical defense off of Shaco mode and deals like one third of HP just by a single strike, single kick. That was crazy, man. And that is also courtesy of the emblems here, going for crit damage and a crit rate with the Assassin Emblem CW, giving you some tips on playing Bruno the right way. Do you think it was the right decision to go for the Uranus? Knowing again, mm. Dixon has found so much success on playmaking heroes. Needs to be an initiation, a hero with CC built in this kit, right? Not so much a distraction type of hero because unfortunately for Dewa, they, even though they have found success, most of it has been through their systematic gameplay. I think they stirred a bit too far away from that systematic gameplay with the Uranus pick. I like the Haya. I just expected the the Terizla to maybe yeah. help with CC, help with setup across the, the neutral objective duels. I think they overlooked the Diroth pick, right? The Diroth pick they somehow overlooked and they committed onto a Uranus 